Hi guys, Zaman UK here. Sorry, it's been such a long time since I've been online. I've recently moved house, I've had to have internet installed, and I've also started a new job as an SEO executive, so now I'm working days instead of nights, which is great. Um, thank you for all the comments and the questions that you asked in the last video. We're going to cover each of these questions from now on every week to, um, to provide the answer for them. Um, anyway, let's get on with the questions. Kai said, what to do with the queen, what to find queens, what to do with... Um, what to do if the queen has got her first workers and what should I feed her? Some interesting questions here. Thank you, Kai. I uh, appreciate it a lot. Um, but what to feed her? I'd say lots of protein, sugar, water, and water. <laughs> Crickets and stuff like that. Ants New Zealand said, How many times a week should he be feeding his colony and what nest is suitable for his colony? Well, to start off, mainly I like to keep my queens in the test tubes for as long as I possibly can. Um, I'll go over this when I get to the video footage about queens and test tubes a little bit. Common question is by Alex, how to increase the co colony's growth rate and improve the chances of the queen surviving? For this sort of question, we c there's a lot you can answer this with. You could obviously feed your queen often, give them water, and also provide them with brood boosting. And uh, East UK Anz said, have you encountered any flights in the UK yet? We'll go over this in the video footage. Um, I did encounter some flights, but unfortunately I was in work, so I've not caught any queens. I was really gutted. Uh, ants Devon, how much should you hydrate the nest for your ants? It all depends on the species of ants. Um, but I know that Laceus like it hydrated in one section only. And they'll sometimes move the larva there, sometimes they'll take them away from there. It really depends on the species. Um, and keep form, what are your favourite techniques for hunting queens uh, in the upcoming nuptial flights here in the UK? Like I said, uh, the flights have happened, unfortunately. I was in work, I've missed them. I'm really, really gutted. But I hope you guys caught some. Um, anyway, let's get onto the footage and have a look at my queen. So, like I said, guys, yes, the um, nuptial flights happened last week and I was in work and I was in the office working away and I went out on my break to get some, you know, food. Um, they were everywhere, they were landing on me and everything, I was so excited, it was all laceous and unfortunately when I, by the time I got home I couldn't find any because they did it quite early in the day and yes I missed out on an opportunity to catch lots and lots and lots and lots of queens, there was hundreds. Um, I was really good at but hopefully I'm not sure yet because sometimes they do it once and then sometimes they do it again uh, towards it sometime in August or maybe a week or two later so maybe there still is a chance for me to catch some queens I hope you guys have caught plenty of queens this year um, but yeah I, I am a bit good at but at the same time I'm still happy because I've still got my queens who are doing really well anyway guys you've seen this queen before she is my flavus queen last time we seen her she probably had about 12 workers and she is pumping eggs out and brood like there's no tomorrow um, she has got now roughly I'd say 20 plus workers and she's got eggs and she's got little larvae there or poop egg and they're nearly ready for hatching and I can't wait for it so by the time they've hatched looking at the amount that's there there's, they're probably going to increase the numbers up to about 30 plus <laughs> they're doing really well but the problem is I've got with most of my test tubes they've run out of water so I'm going to give you a little tip on what to do when they do run out of water um, what you can do is the wool that you use to block them in you know so they can't escape is get a bigger chunk of wool because what you do is you get half of that wool well you make you know the blockage thing to block the test tube but you get half of the wool dip it in some water not all the way, just dip half of it in the water and then put it back into the um, into the test tube to seal them back in. And what this will do, you'll you'll see within like 15, 20 minutes that your workers make their way to the front of the tube and they'll start collecting water from the wool and feeding the queen and feeding everything else that needs water. That's one way of doing it and it seems to be working for me but you have to do it at least once a week because it do, the wool does tend to dry out as well. Um, but yeah guys, um, it's, she's doing really well, um, I'm so glad to be back and uploading videos again, and yeah, I hope you like the footage, enjoy.
and this week's ant question is how to increase colony growth rate and queen survival rate um, this was left by one of my subscribers in the video from a few weeks ago um, what I'm going to do with all those questions is for every week we're going to uh, answer one of those questions and this is the question for this week um, guys please leave your comments below on the best possible answer uh, me myself I'll probably brew boost plenty of protein honey water and sugar water anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next week